Hi, Sanawila. How are you? I, I'm doing good today. I have a new puppy. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, he's not a puppy. He's six years old, but a, a dog okay. is always a puppy to me. So oh, <laughs> there's that. Amazing. And um, I feel like office hours are doing really good here at the New Haven Free Public Library. So um, I feel like I made I made a good decision on the timing of that. So that's right. So, yeah. So uh, Julia, remind us. Okay, so Julia is our EIR, our entrepreneur in residence. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, and can you tell us what are your office hours and the programs that you're offering? Um, at least for yeah. the month of October, but you're going to be actually running all year long until like next June. So June, right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so first and foremost, my office hours are Tuesdays. I wanted to do a day where I do kind of like late morning and then an afternoon and then one of the evenings that the library is open. So I have office hours from, on Tuesday from 1130 a.m. until 1 30 p.m. so kind of like the the lunch hour ish time period um then i also have office hours on thursdays and that is from 6 to 8 p.m so in the evenings i'll be in the library in the evenings and then on friday from 2 to 4 p.m so different time different days and different times so it seems to be working because um the past couple of weeks, um, we've had a total of six or eight appointments. And then I have two coming up, one tomorrow. Um, so this is for anybody who is thinking about starting a business, um, anybody who is currently in business and has questions, um, has any sort of, of business idea. And so there are 30 minute sessions and you can reach me, um, on the New Haven Free Public Library website, NH, New Haven Free Public Library. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, wait a minute, what is it again? Um, NHFPL.org. Should I bring that up and share my screen? I just want to share. So yes, I can actually let you share a screen, but I just put it in the chat on Facebook. And I put okay. I, I put it, um, how to sign up for your office hours. Um, okay. These office hours can be in person or virtual, right? These can be in person or digital. And what happens is um, if it's in person, while the weather um, allows for it, I've actually had a few of the office hours out on the patio. That So you go into I squared and then into the um, where the cafe used to be. And there's a door that goes out into the patio and it, it has an awning above it. So I've been using the patio when it's been nice outside, which thankfully it has been, even though it's almost October. Um, you know, today was beautiful. Today was beautiful. It's a little windy. I keep like looking over like this because I can hear the wind whipping outside my window <laughs> in my office. Um, or when you sign up on Calendly, it automatically provides a link um, for that particular appointment for, um, for Zoom. So there's 30 minute sessions. We can either sit in person together. If we're sitting inside, um, we just make sure that we're masked up. The, the protocol for the library is to wear a mask. Um, and when we're sitting outside, you can decide if you want us to wear a mask or not, because when we're outside, there's more air circulation, but I'm also very amenable to, um, to wearing a mask outside as well. And then of course, when we're on Zoom, um, you just click on the Zoom link that's given to you and get going. Um, I actually make you a co-host so you can share the screen and if you want to show us how to get there um, from the website. Um, let me website. do that. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Yes. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to hit the share screen. There we go. Okay. So here we are. 
um, at the website. So it's nhfpl.org. And the way that I like going there is you, you go up at the top where it says for you. Here we have I squared right over here. Um, go to entrepreneurs. And then along the left hand side is EIRCIR, -E and you just click there. And there I am. And it shows what my um, my office hours are. There I we go. The, the red um, sign. So I, I, will, I will take care of that right after. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so Tuesdays from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m., Thursdays from 6 to 8, and Fridays from 2 to 4. And then you just click on the Calendly link right here, which is clickable. And I don't, okay, and this is the scheduling page. So you just go right here. And you pick a day. So say the 7th at 6 p.m. and you just fill it out. And they'll, there will be um, a, a thank you screen basically. And the thank you screen will provide um, the link. And oftentimes what will happen is I will actually get a notification that I have an appointment. So I'll um, ask that, you know, the person will you know, if there's anything in particular that you would like to talk about, there's also a form that you can fill out. So if you just fill out that form, it's basically, um, it's just what's your business or business idea? What are some things that you want to accomplish? The other thing about this too, is these are 30 minute sessions. So they're kind of um, short sessions. So the best way to, to do this is to kind of just make sure that you have, um, you have some questions available. Um, one of the things that we usually do start with is we start with a, um, I usually ask if you have a business plan. Um, and one of the things that we've been talking a lot about, um, especially when we were doing the digital media sync, which is, if you'll see here that I've been running digital media sync for a long period of time, we did talk about many of the tools in the digital toolbox. And one of them, if you just click over to digital toolbox over here, and it will show you um, what is the digital toolbox. And one of the, the really wonderful tools that are available is the Gale Business Plan Builder. So oftentimes, one of the first questions that I will ask, actually ask you um, to start off the conversation is, do you have a business plan? And then if you say you do not have a business plan, then I will say, let's get started with the Gale Business Plan Builder. And that is available through the library. And you just um, set up an account through the library. Um, I can help you. You can ask one of the um, the technicians at the at, at I've squared. You can ask Celeste as well. Yeah, um, so if you if you need anything, just let me know. Yeah. Um. So Gale Business Plan Builder is one of the just really great tools um, that's available. If you're looking for um, marketing advice, or if you're you're checking to see like what your website, how your website may be doing. Another really great tool is SEM Rush. Um, so I am on Zoom. So I'm going to move my little screen over here where I'm showing where the people are. Um, so SEM Rush, it checks your SEO content, social media, and competitive research. So that may be an avenue that we're taking. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know as well that we are taking questions because we are on Facebook Live and I'm kind of looking down at my screen just to see, make sure um, there's not any questions at the moment. So if you have any questions, we're live now at 5.11 p.m. Um, on September 27th, 2021. However, if you are watching this at a different time, 
um, and you happen to come across this, you can just go ahead and ask the questions. No big deal. Um, we do have like four people watching Facebook Live. So. Uh, that's wonderful. We have four people yeah, watching. So if you have any questions, just let us know. And now, now we have five people. <laughs> so. <laughs> I may be one of the people. Oh, no, I'm not one of the people anymore. <laughs> I was just checking. I was like, what does it look like to watch it on Facebook Live? Um, so Celeste will let me know if there are any questions. The other thing that I wanted to let everybody know is that we've actually started um, some programming. So a couple of things. I'm going to be doing more of these Ask Me Anythings. And if you are watching live right now or in the future, just drop a comment in the comment section and let me know some of the things that you may actually want to learn about. Um, I want to bring some of my friends on as guests and we can ask them anything <laughs> so um be awesome. like I, I i'm really excited about that idea so yeah. if you have legal questions um you know if you have financial questions if you have questions about getting any sort of funding if you have questions about marketing i have um a lot of people that that I work with personally. There are people that the library works with as well, with SCORE and with Colab and with Known and a whole bunch of other partners and professionals as well. So we wanna make sure that we answer any of the questions that you have. My focus is usually in marketing and communication. So that's really something um, that I can speak to but there's other areas that I'm not an expert in, nor do I pretend to be. Um, so I want to bring people on board that can ask those questions. So those Ask Me Anythings are going to be um, promoted a little bit more um, ahead of time. This was just kind of like we knew that we were going to, to do this. We had made this, um, this uh, set up here so we decided um, that we were going to do many more and kind of have them a little bit more focused okay so there's that what are some other things that we wanted to talk about um, One... oh yeah yeah go ahead, go ahead. okay <laughs> i'm like i'm good <laughs> that was... One of the things that I wanted to talk about was that we are going to actually have um, some programming that pertains specifically to marketing and specifically to marketing and promoting during the holiday season. So any of you out there who have holiday sales, whether it's products or services or discounts that are specific to the holiday season, we know that November, December, January um, is a big, um, you know, holidays, many different holidays. So if you are selling during the holidays and if you are promoting um, specific sales for those holidays, um, we want to make sure that you are, um, I'm actually just typing this in right now, exactly what I put for the wording. Um, we want to make sure that you're prepared. So especially for makers, and I know that um, one of the library programs, one of the I've squared programs is the Make to Sell cohort, which um, is starting very soon. So there's very specific classes that's for the cohort. Um, I believe there's 12 or 15 in that cohort. Those classes will be recorded and will be archived and we'll show later, but the classes that I'm talking about that I'm doing um, over the next three weeks and over the next several months, those are going to be available both um, in person and online. I'm doing this um, in, in a hybrid manner and um, they're going to be available and open to the public. So please make sure um, to sign up. So the very first one, I'm actually going to, again, pull it up on the screen. So you're going to see it with some other events that the library does have. Um, some that are being run by the creative in residence, some being run by my, um, by myself. And, you know, some of the programming is programming that the library has been doing for quite a long time. 
So that's super exciting. Okay, so the very first one I uh, wanted I'm to- I'm really excited about all those programs. <laughs> I'm super excited. So this is the first one. This is an introduction to holiday sales with me, EIR Julia Gambale. Um, it is Wednesday, October 6th. So that's next Wednesday. And it's from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So you can add this to your calendar. Um, so while it might not be the holidays just yet, it is time to get prepared. So a lot of us um, really should be pretty much in the middle of our planning cycle, but I wanna catch everyone up um, this first week and kind of show you what a calendar would look like. So in person, I'm going to have some handouts available. Um, so you can register um, to come in person or you can use the Zoom link and just attend online. So this is going to be an hour um, and it's going to be very understandable, very quick paced. Um, there's gonna be a Q and A section as well. Um, so I'll be providing that. So again, that's Wednesday, October 6th. So each of these is going to be um, on the 6th. There are 10 seats and I'm seeing now that there are actually nine seats remaining and I haven't even really started promoting it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I just posted it out, I think over the weekend, like, and I think it was a Sunday I posted it out and here it is Monday, so we're doing good. Um, so I'm gonna pop out of this particular event and see, you can see that there's other events here. My second event is like, going to be on a Wednesday as well. So it's going to be Wednesday, October 13th, again, from 1 to 2 p.m. So this is a hybrid, once again. So this is advertising during the holiday sales period with me. Um, so I continue to talk about the holiday shopping season. And this time we're looking at it from the perspective of advertising. And this is specifically on what does it look like to advertise on Facebook and Instagram? Google and Twitter. Again, this is a hybrid program. So there are nine seats remaining out of 10 if you register. So that's in the lower left hand corner to register for um, this particular class. And then virtually there's going to be a Zoom link available for you. So they'll, um, they'll make the Zoom link live um, once we're at that particular date. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. This is something that you might have seen me talk about um, if you're in my digital media sync group or my known group or my Grove um, group. I have talked about advertising in general and how you can do advertising online pretty inexpensively. And usually what I say is you can advertise online on social media for $5 a day per day per platform. Form. So if you pick, um, and the bonus is if you pick the Facebook, Instagram um, platform, they, they work together. So you get um, more platform for the buck, so to speak. And I, I have a question about this program. Yeah. Um, specifically going to be talking about Facebook, Instagram, Google. Uh, do you want to touch base maybe in TikTok? Yep, I'm going to talk about TikTok a little bit as well. Yeah, so I'm going to give some a lot of questions about TikTok and how to maybe use that platform. And I know it's like yeah, right, right, yeah. And it's like I guess people don't really know how to to work on it. Right, and if you're looking at TikTok, oh, I can kind of like go down a, a whole tangent over here. But if you're looking at TikTok from the perspective of marketing, right, a lot of times you'll see a lot of like cute things that you know like you have your puppies your kittens you're dancing you know you get people doing their dance moves or their roller skating moves on tiktok that sort of thing um but if you're utilizing this in, a, in an advertising or a marketing um type of perspective or capacity um there's a lot you can do with um you know, if you're, for example, if you have clothing or jewelry or that sort of thing, you can kind of do kind of these quick, quick change, quick edit kind of like before and after it's like, this is what this dress looks like, or this t-shirt looks like, and then quick edit into a new or dress or t-shirt. Yeah. 
or makeup, right? Makes up makeup is another one as well. Our hair salons, yeah. Hair, nails, jewelry, you know, anything that's visual from from that perspective, it's it's really, really fun um, to build out campaigns for that. So I want to talk about for each of these platforms. Um, what audiences may look like, what the pricing may look like, how to understand how to advertise to people and how to, how to do a campaign and a calendar um, that's specific to, to advertising as opposed to your, you know, your organic type of um, communication. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then the last one, I, I did this one already. Okay. There's one more. Oh, here it is. I almost went past my own class. <laughs> so it's, is your email database ready for holiday selling? So this is the third and last in the series um, of holiday marketing. So we're going to, we want to talk about staying top of mind to your most valuable audience, your current cost customers. So a lot of times, um, you know, people will advertise or broadcast out to a wide audience of mostly strangers. And really um, you wanna make sure that if you have a database from 200 to 2000 to 20,000 to 200,000, that you're really communicating with your own current audience and making sure that they feel special. So a lot of times um, you'll see, I mean, you'll see from, you know, just from being a consumer, right? Whatever your favorite store is, whether it's REI or um, what are some other um, DSW shoes or, or whatever it is, you have, you, you're made to feel special by giving VIP access, you know, or current customer only, or you get a special discount. Um, I know one of my favorite um, brands you may, you may see is my purple hair. Um, I really love Overtone. <laughs> so, you know, during the holidays, I may get something from them where it's like you get 30% off um, for being a longtime customer during the holidays or something like that. So every, every brand should have some sort of um, something special for their current customers. So this is the third in the series. This is um, talking about email database. I want to ask a silly question here. So I don't, I don't want you obviously to, to say anything about a specific about the problem, but this email database is like your own email, like the business email, or it's going to be like a platform, like maybe constant contact or maybe yeah, so I'm going to talk about what it's like to utilize um, content, you know, um, customer relation type of databases. So that's going to be your constant contact, your MailChimp. Um, another one is Mad Mimi. Another one is, oh my gosh, what is it called? Hello Emma or Hey Emma or something like that. Um, there's several that are out there. The other things too is you're talking about utilizing visual um, components. So like little e-blasts that look like a postcard or look like, um, you know, that's not a newsletter, so to speak. So something that's quick, how to do a drip campaign. So something um, that's once, um, you know, a current customer may open something, but still not click on it. And, you know, you want to have something that's like, hey, you know, don't miss out on you know, a certain percentage off or a certain, um, you know, certain products that are available only for that period of time, that sort of thing. So, and it's, it's mainly, yeah, it's databases like MailChimp, like Constant Contact, Eye Contact, that sort of thing. Okay. So this is going to be Wednesday, October 20th, again, 1 to 2 p.m. So I saw that the first two, somebody had grabbed a seat. So now we're we're just waiting for somebody to grab a seat on on start start the ball rolling and grab the seat. I mean, um, we highly recommend that if someone signs into to the first one, just so you know, you know, like, right? Yeah, I would say if you're gonna do the 
first one, definitely go ahead and just do just do all of them. And when you like I said, when you come in, there'll be handouts. Um, I'll obviously be there to kind of walk around and, you know, if you don't mind being on camera because it is hybrid, <laughs> um, but we'll all have our masks on. Um, you, you know, can, you can ask questions, yeah. be an example. <laughs> but if you cannot make it to the library, we still offer the program in Zoom. So you can still sign up from anywhere in your phone, in your laptop, or yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. So that's what's going to be happening um, in the month of October. I'll have my office hours, so three days a week. Um, so that's three times for 12, <laughs> 12 days, many opportunities to come by for office hours, um, three classes during the month. We're going to have our Ask Me Anythings, and then um, I'm designing more programs as well as we speak. So again, I'll have guest speakers and um, co, you know, guest co, um, co-teachers or co-instructors with me as well. Um, we don't have any questions. I, unless you have questions or if, if I missed anything, I think I'm almost done. <laughs> I think we're good. I don't know. We might be. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, gonna... checking, I'm checking the Facebook right now. Um, we have a question that I answered, and I'm going to give that information um, to the okay. person that was not re really related to the EIR. Okay. Um, yes. And I'm actually, let me see. Um, you, you, can, you can keep talking. <laughs> okay. Um, so I will be in the library tomorrow, actually, because tomorrow is Tuesday. And I think there are a couple of slots available in the morning, um, 1130. So I started 1130. So from 1130 to noon, then noon to 1230, 1230 to one. I believe my um, one o'clock slot has been, um, but somebody has registered for that. So. And then after that, I'll be available on Thursday in the evening from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. Um, so again, just please feel free. I'm going to just jump back up to the, there we go. So for you, right up here, you go to Ive Square Entrepreneur. And then from there, you go to EIR and CIR. And this is how you get to my Calendly right here at the bottom. And then I just want to let you know too, I, I'm actually going to um, take a couple of crochet classes from Sarisa. Um, this is her information, her office hours, Monday from 11 to one and Thursdays from 12 to two. So you can sign up for 30 minute sessions with her as well. Um, and she has a Calendly link as well. And the office hours, um, you can go meet with um, her in person as well or via Zoom. So either way. And I'm going to click on my Calendly once more. So here's the Calendly. EIR office hours, click on the little arrow. And then just a good day that um, you would like for me to be available. I'm, I may have I may have more than one um, time slot that's not available. That's exciting. Um, that's very exciting, yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, and I just wanted to see another one, right? Um, Julia, about ask me anything. Next month, I mean October, which is in two. <laughs> which like yes, <laughs> yeah. We set up. I'm gonna have to look at my calendar again for the ask me anything, but we will have more in the next month. And I'm also talking to some potential guests as well that can kind of help me answer the questions when you ask me anything. So we'll be promoting that as well um, online. And I think in the newsletter as well. I know that the, oh no. Yeah, so the yeah. newsletter actually went out today. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. And 
I saw the programs and the office hours for the EIR and the creative in residence as well, which is a CIR series. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, we're trying to spread the word. <laughs> yeah. So, and then we'll have, um, we have classes. And then um, again, there's going to be some classes that are more specific to the cohort, but then those will be available way later at some point, not, not the actual days. Those are specifically for the cohort. Um, they get, there's exclusivity there at the, you know, at the very moment in real time type of thing. So I'm really excited about that too, because I get to sit there. I get to teach one. That's right. I do. I'm co-teaching with Rick Callahan. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about branding. Um, so yeah, I may, I may actually bring him to an ask me anything so we can talk about branding during the ask me anything as well. So that'll be a lot of fun. I can set it up for you. <laughs> Perfect. I will be happy to. <laughs> All right. So office hours, uh, programs, there's a lot of coming up. Uh, this month in October. Yep. So it's very exciting. Can't wait to see everybody. All right. So I didn't see any other questions. All right. We see no other questions. So I think we're going to close this one for now and then we'll um, we'll check in with everybody and give you a heads up on when our next ask, uh, ask me anything is going to be and then um, when all the classes are as well. But yeah, let me know what else you want to learn. And if uh, if you see this video on like or Facebook, and then you think about any questions, just reach to us, reach to Julia, uh, and we will be happy to help you. Yeah. Right. Okay. Think we're all right. set. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Sorry about the background noise. Like here and there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Bye everyone. Bye bye. Bye.